Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the pressed salmon sandwich. And this requires us cooking something in advance, so uh, let's get cracking. To breadcrumbs, we add melted butter, beaten egg, and canned salmon. And we mix all that, and we just sort of press that down in the bowl. And now it says to steam it for one hour. Uh, I'm doing a half recipe, so I'm going to check it after 30 minutes and probably take more than that, but but I'm not going to trust that it's going to be an hour. Okay, it's been a half hour and uh, it looks like it's well steamed, so uh, you'll have to forgive the jackhammering going on in the background. Now we got to let this cool completely. Okay, it's said to cool completely and it has, and um, now we're to slice it. Now it says to place the slices onto bread and make a sandwich. It does not say to butter the bread, and I find that odd and disconcerting. Okay, let's give this pressed salmon sandwich a go. It's kind of dry. There's no seasoning in it. It's just salmon and breadcrumbs and egg, and it is very dry. I am definitely gonna plus this up. Duke's mayonnaise. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper. Okay, let's give this plus up pressed salmon sandwich a go. Okay, so the mayonnaise, absolutely helping. The lemon pepper, delicious, goes really well with salmon. So the original pressed salmon sandwich, I, it's just weird to me to put that much breadcrumb into egg and salmon. You basically have this sort of weird omelet that's very bready. Then you put that between two slices of bread and you don't indicate the butter or mayonnaise. Maybe they assumed that we uh, should butter the bread. It would have helped. Um, I don't think it would have made a huge improvement. I think mayonnaise is a better call and I definitely think the lemon pepper helped a lot. Could have gone with Old Bay, could have gone with Cajun, could have done a number of things. Um, the original pressed salmon sandwich, I'm going to give a four and a half to. Uh, it was like, I really wouldn't want to eat that, um, but it didn't taste bad, if you know what I mean. The texture was just not right there. Adding the Duke's mayonnaise and the uh, lemon pepper, I probably brought it up to a six and a half or so. Um, I am going to finish that. I probably will never make this again, and I do have a lot of leftovers, so... I definitely will be eating it again. Oh well. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Oh. Hang on a sec, I've got a crazy idea. Let's see how it does when we fry it up in a pan. Okay, now that it's crisped up, I'm gonna add some uh, Bachan's original Japanese barbecue sauce. And yeah, I know it's not a sandwich, but I just wanted to try it. I figured I'd take you along for the ride. Let's give this cold pressed salmon sandwich filling fried up in the oil and topped with the Bachan Japanese barbecue sauce a go. So now, with that little crunch on the outside, it's more akin to like a crab cake or a salmon cake, if you will. And you can put any sauce you want on it. Um, awesome! So now I know how to use the rest of this, uh, and it's not making sandwiches. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.